Hello my friends, I'm recording this for you today because after having read 50 verses of the Tao Te Ching, it's clear that this has been one of the most reliable sources for me to remain grounded and focused in a year that has really tempted me to lose my center and lose my balance. Um, I feel like we can all use some of this right now in terms of remaining grounded and focused and that's why I'm sharing this with you today. I'm going to give you just a brief overview of the Tao Te Ching and then I'll get into one of the principles that I want to give you for your current path and whatever you're working through or working on. The Tao Te Ching is said to have been dictated around 400 BC, which is a long time ago, by Lao Tzu. And Lao Tzu is, a, is said to have been a contemporary of the Chinese philosopher Confucius. Um, the Tao, I think of less as a religious text and more of, more of a guide, kind of like a set of principles uh, to live by. And the best description I've found, or I'd say the most helpful description, is as it's referred to as the way, or the way of virtue. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to give you one of the key elements of the Tao today, and that is balance. I'd like to read for you part of, of verse 13. And what I hear in this anyways is, kind of a guide to be able to remain balanced despite success or failure. The verse reads, whether you go up the ladder or down it, your position is shaky. When you stand with your two feet on the ground, you will always keep your balance. So this says to me that no matter what happens, whether I succeed or fail, I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to lose my balance. So it helps me keep my both my troubles and my triumphs in perspective because uh, staying clued into the big picture, I know that neither one of those is permanent. So it helps me come back to another one of the key themes in the Tao is, my, is holding on to your center, right? Remaining center no matter what happens. So for me, this is a more balanced approach to life's ups and downs. It also helps me not get too wrapped up in any one thing such that I can keep an eye on and give attention and energy towards everything that's important to me in life. Another way to look at this is because life inevitably hands us things that we wouldn't probably choose, right? When something doesn't go as I want or expect, it helps me get back up quicker and dust myself off and keep going. So no matter how towering the swell is, how big the wave is, if you can maintain balance as to what that uniquely means to you, then you're going to stand strong during those storms. I hope this really brief overview of one of the principles of the Tao has been helpful for you. I'd really like to hear what it opens up for you. How do you relate to this principle of balance and what does it mean for your current path and journey? Thanks for watching.